thanks to Synology for sponsoring this video. So this is a Mac Studio, and it's something that I've been waiting for for a while, and Apple has finally given it to us. So with the work that we do here, it would completely transform everything that we do. But in typical Apple fashion, it's almost perfect, and I have just the thing to unlock its full potential. And we've been doing this again for a while. It's an awesome way to say thank you for supporting us, supporting the channel. We got a $500 giveaway going on, a gift card of your choice open to anyone in the world. So let us know in the comments what you would do with uh, your Synology setup and your Mac Pro. And be sure to leave your social handle in the comments so I can contact you if you win. So do that and give the video a thumbs up. Run it for 10 days, open to anyone in the world. All the information will be in the description. So, if you have not heard of Synology, uh, we've been talking about it for years, but it's a brand that we've been using here at JFL for a long, long time. Uh, and it has been a lifesaver for storage solutions for us. And so the bigger reasons we use it goes way, way deeper than that. So while yes, this is a sponsored video, this is a sponsored video on products that we have been using legitimately uh, in the studio for I think going on almost five years now. So as you can imagine, uh, we use up like a ton of storage here. Uh, we use professional cameras that all shoot in RAW and ProRes. It means those file sizes are between huge and gymungous. So with A-roll, B-roll, effects, the whole shebang, we're around 350 to 500 gigabytes in sizes, and some of our projects go up to one to two terabytes. So needless to say, storage solutions around here uh, are a precious and generally very expensive commodity. With Apple, they keep out doing themselves with processor speeds, and the Mac Studio specifically is really no different. When it came out though, it was a bit of a surprise. You couldn't upgrade the storage or RAM or anything. And Apple being Apple, they are happy to sell you internal SSD storage for all the money. Uh, that's where Synology has come in for us. They offer an awesome selection of high quality, versatile storage drives that can give you four times and sometimes eight times the amount of storage that Apple is trying to sell you for much, much cheaper bring all of your storage solution problems to an end. So for us, it lets us save that money, upgrade RAM, upgrade processor, and not have to worry about the storage side of things. All right, so here's how we use it. So like I mentioned, we've been using it here at JFL for a while, and at this point, it's become a staple uh, in our workflow. But again, it goes beyond just storage for us. Not only does Synology let us safely store products we're working on uh, and archive older ones. It also allows the entire team to work off the same storage unit remotely. So for example, we are not full-time back in the studio. I'm only here when I'm shooting. Matt Gonzalez, who made this incredible Rivian video, moved to Utah uh, during the pandemic. So he has a Synology set up at his place and it's made things really easy for us to access footage and share and collaborate with very rarely all of us being in the same place at the same time we haven't seen any drop off uh, in the work or the output that we're able to do. So the one we're using here at the studio is a very long named DS1621 Plus. So it's what's known as a network attached storage device. Mostly you've heard it probably referenced as an as. Uh, think of it as a big storage device, but also its own kind of mini computer as well. So not only will it store everything you need, it can also run apps and automate almost everything. So you don't have to really interact with it that much at all. Matt's, for example, he says he's got it hardwired in. He doesn't think about it uh, really at all anymore since he set it up. And because it's basically a mini computer and connected to the network, it can be accessed by, at least in our case, the editors of our team remotely. Instead of needing to get multiple at-home storage solutions or editors need to sort of lug around to and from the studio when they come to film, having a centralized storage solution makes it so much easier here. And again, going back to that Matt living in Utah and the Rivian video, it made videos like that so easy to do. And we have footage, we had drone footage, uh, we had off-road footage, we had driving footage, we had home footage. Matt came in for a week and then left and we were still sort of shooting footage for him. This solution made all of that possible, easy, and honestly, totally seamless. Now you can fill this with any brand of hard drives uh, that you want. So the setup process is actually pretty simple too. So once you have your drives installed, Synology software does a really great job of walking you through step by step, 
for a surprisingly easy setup. It also guides you to the type of RAID that you want to set up with your Synology. So you don't have to have a knowledge of hard drives or PC builder or anything like that to get this working. Uh, it's really very, very simple for any sort of knowledge or experience base. You can pick different type of RAID setup that you want. They offer different types of redundancy so you don't lose data, uh, which has happened here a few times at JFL. Uh, so for us setting it up, that means RAID 5 which means that we could lose one of our six drives and absolutely nothing would happen to our data. Uh, the other five drives will store copies of what's on the failed drive and you swap out the bad drive and our backup and running without having to reshoot anything. Uh, so I mentioned before it could run apps and there's a long list of very useful apps to choose from, uh, but the backup solutions have been just personally pretty helpful. Uh, I like to use these as backups for personal computers uh, as well. It's nice to have. Now, all my files are generally stored not on my local computer. So all my files from the Techno Buffalo days, all my files from the Techno Buffalo sale, the JFL files, all legal documents, all the stuff that I need to run a business are all stored remotely in kind of my own personal cloud. So I don't have to rely on Google, uh, for example, for storing things. That's awesome. Also, my pictures are backed up as well. Sort of the worst thing that could happen is my cloud storage dies. I've got another backup of my photos and I don't miss sort of my kids growing up that I've been saving out over these years. So as amazing as Synology has been as a storage solution for the home and office as well, it's also, probably most importantly, but a huge savings on my wallet. So like I said, Apple is happy to sell you internal storage solutions for your Mac, but you're paying a hefty Apple tax for the extra space. If you got the Mac Studio and want to upgrade the SSD to one, two, four, or eight terabytes, you can see you're paying an additional $2,400 for eight terabytes of extra storage. With Synology, you can get double that, 16 terabytes, for way less, around 1,600 bucks, and take that all the way up to 96 terabytes if you wanted. Uh, with the price breakdown, Apple charges you about 300 bucks per terabyte of storage. If you want to max out Synology, that would be 96 terabytes. It would cost you around $36 per terabyte. So pretty big difference there. So Synology offers a bunch of different products. So if you've got the Mac Studio, uh, the DS1621 Plus that we've got makes a lot of sense. You also have the DS1821 uh, that could work perfectly as well. So the one that we have, we can add a 10 gig ethernet card if we want. Uh, but if you wanna make it easier and that's something that you need, uh, the DS1621 XS Plus gives that to you uh, right out of the box. So they have a lot of different solutions for whatever your needs are, whether it's professional backing up of footage, or your own cloud, or you need way, way more than that. Uh, Synology generally has an affordable option uh, that can work. And again, a company that we've been using here for many, many years. So yes, sponsored, but also a personal recommendation. If you wanna check out any of the products Synology offers, we'll link to them down below.